Hello again, everyone. I am back as promised with a happy mail that I received some time back. I believe I got this. Oh my gosh. It's been at least three weeks ago. Um, I just, this is the first time that I've had a chance to come and record and I didn't want to open it. Uh, I wanted to open it on video. So, um, that's why the packages have not been messed with, but I'm so excited. It has been so hard not to tear into this. In fact, if you see here, I was trying to take a little peek because <laughs> I was just so impatient, but I just, I just haven't had time, um, to video. I, you know, I've had, we had the holidays. It was just super, super busy for me around here. And, um, my house was full of family, which I absolutely adored. So I just, you know, took all of that in and just enjoyed it. So I just, I had to put this on the back burner. I did tell Debbie that, um, I wouldn't be able to record for a while. So, uh, she was okay with that, but, um, I've got two packages here. She is so sweet. She's one is mine. And then she also sent one along for my friend, Angie. Hi, Ange. So this one is yours, my dear. I will be forwarding that to you, um, along to you very soon. So we each have a, our own package and she also sent us each, um, a priority flat rate envelope with some goodies in there that I have also not opened yet. So, um, I've got a set and Angie also has a set for her. So I will be forwarding this along to Angie as soon as I get a chance. I'm just going to move this off to the side. One moment, please. Just so we have some some room because this is a meaty package you guys I don't know like I said I don't know what's in there I couldn't really make anything out <laughs> when I was trying to sneak a peek so I will um I think I will do the flat rate envelope first let me I'm sorry am I been in camera so <laughs> so I'm just gonna read this here it says Denise thank you so very much for inspiring me and for agreeing to forward Angie's packs of goodies to her I truly enjoy your YouTube videos and how you present all of the wonderful journals, tags, etc. Yours were the first that I watched and thus began my addiction, which I'm eternally grateful for. I have included practically the same items for you as I'm giving Angie. Minor differences are same book, but different pages, same quilts, but cut in different areas, etc. You both have the same number of items. I hope that you're able to use them and that they bring you joy. I'm sure I will, Deb. As I'm not sure how you'll be sending Angie's to her, I wanted to have all bases covered. I know for sure that hers will easily fit into a USPS priority mail large flat rate box, 12 by 12 by five and a half, that costs $19.95 to send. So I'm including a $20 bill to cover the shipping. If you have a way to ship it cheaper, great. Have a mug of coffee on me. Oh my God, you're so sweet. And if there's anything at all you'd like more of, please be sure to let me know. My collecting, otherwise known as my economic stimulus program, <laughs> has outgrown my craft room. Eek. Take care, Deb. P.S. I noticed that this flower had fallen on the floor after I'd already wrapped up your package. I wanted to make sure you've got it. Oh my god, she is so cute. Look at that. So there's the flower and there. <laughs> there's the $20 so that I can forward Angie's package to her. Oh my god, girlfriend, you are so sweet to have done that for Angie. I know she's going to appreciate that so very much. Oh, 
How sweet. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and dig into this one first. I'm so excited. It's like a Christmas present. You don't know what's inside, but you just know it's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Oh, we got some vintage dictionary pages. Let's start from this side. So we've got some vintage book pages, some dictionary sheets. And there's several there. Definitely will use those. Vintage um, magazine ads for some dresses and long coats. How cool is that? Looks like... Is that from a Montgomery Wards catalog? I think so. It says Wards down at the bottom. How neat are these? Just to scan, like at Women's World, October 1939. Just to scan them for the ads. How fun. Oh my gosh. So very cool. Oh, look. Ideal walking doll. How neat is that? Oh my gosh, these are so delicate. You can tell just from their color how old they are. I don't want to handle them too much because I don't want them to, to tear more before I can do something with them. Ah, very cool. Ah. Sears and Roebuck catalog. Oh my God, this is crazy thin. This must have been like the original catalog because... Wow, that is so old. Amazing. So I'll be able to use pieces of that for some decoupage. December 1931. Oh, look how cool. Kitchen Clatter Magazine, September of 1947. These are so fun. I just love old book pages and like that's from an old typing typing book. Some more dictionary pages. Very cool, Deb. I will definitely be able to make use of all of that stuff. So now, let me see here. Just move this off to the side. So now I am going to open this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's see here. Should I just... Maybe I'll just slide it off here. Oh my goodness. She's 
put all kinds of stuff in here. <sighs> Okay, you guys, sorry. Let me just get this out of the way. Sorry for all the crinkling. Although, I don't know why I'm apologizing. Most of us love that sound. <laughs> Look at all of that. This baggie is stuffed. Oh my gosh. He's got all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> and another little flat rate envelope in there. Oh my goodness, Deb. What did you do? Okay, so let's go. We'll go into this one first. She's got everything in little bags or um, poly sleeves. These are cool. Let's see here. So we've got some vintage card there. A glassing bag and some of that handmade paper or watercolor paper. Some more little book pages. Look how small those are. Oh my gosh. A vintage recipe. One of these tab dividers with the metal metal tabs on them. These are so cool. The tabs have your initials. Oh <laughs> Aww. How cute is that? Look. DS. That is so cute. <laughs> God, those papers are old. They're already all yellowed. You gotta love that aged patina look to old forms. Then we got some more dictionary pages. Are some invoices, some really old invoices. Thank you. Call again. There's a little stack of those. Some bridge sheets. There's a stack of those. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Look at the text, you guys. These old book pages. This is gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, I love those. Some more recipes. Kind of a day planner sheet, a vintage day planner sheet, an assignments sheet. Oh, a couple of them. Those are cool. And then some um, sewing pattern. Cutting instructions. And then some more book pages. Vintage book pages. Oh my gosh. So much fun to be had in these baggies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, look at this. So this, I'm guessing she made this stuff. These are some of her handmade goodies, I'm sure. Look at how pretty, how 
pretty is that tag? So beautiful. Oh, she sent two of them. Those are so pretty. Huh. And then she sent along an embossed card. All this stuff is going to look so pretty in a journal. Here's a little envelope. And then we've got that piece there. This would be really good for to layer on a pocket or just a little um, collage. So much prettiness. Wow. Those are beautiful, Deb. Love them. She's got a bunch of other vintage ephemera in here as well. So fun. She's got this long bag here. This is like a cutlery, cutlery bag. And in here she's got some old receipts. These are amazing. Oh my goodness. So there's three of those. This is the kind of stuff that you just cannot, it's not easily accessible for me here in New Mexico. We just, I don't find stuff like that very often. I've heard that, um, in the Midwest, they have an abundance of this kind of stuff in thrift stores and antique shops. But here in the Southwest, we do not. There's an old flash card. Here's another one that she's coffee stained. This turned out really cool. <gasps> Some more of those beautiful book pages. Boy, you just... Hooked me up, girl. <laughs> Ooh, all kinds of goodies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play with all this stuff. What do we got in here? Oh, a bunch of little miniature ephemera, small book pages and stuff. That's a neat little bag. Prince Albert. My grandfather used to smoke a pipe and that's the kind of tobacco he used to use. We got some rolling papers there. Oh my gosh, how funny is that? Huh. That took me back. Wow. Yeah, he used to smoke Prince Albert in a can. Came in a big can, like a, <laughs> a can of coffee. <laughs> Oh, I used to love to help him pack his pipe. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Wow. Crazy. Little coin envelope. That is just nuts. That kind of took me back a little bit. <laughs> My grandpa died when I was 13, so that was kind of hard for me back then. Ah, some of these, let's see here. Dryer Clark and Dryer Oil products. What are these? Oh, they're like coupons, 50 cent coupons. Those are neat. Wow. Love those. It's like green Rolodex card. That's cool. It's like a corner off of an envelope, but that'll make a nice little tuck spot pocket. Love the image on there. This is cool. There's 
some really old dictionary pages here. Wow. Deb, you sent me some really neat stuff. Look at this old time record. Table of wages by the hour, a dollar five. Well, that goes to show you how old this is. Hmm. Crazy. Ah, oh, some more of that. I think that's German. Deb, you almost. <laughs> You almost brought me to tears with that one, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, I had to uh, try and keep my composure. That was crazy. I haven't seen any Prince Albert stuff in a long time, and every time I see it, I just think of my grandpa. Oh boy. Oh, here's another one of those bags. And she's got, I don't know if that's showing up, she um, coffee dyed it, but there's a butterfly image on there that she coffee stained on. That is so pretty. Oh, on that side too. Maybe it was, oh, it was done on this side and it just kind of bled through, I think. How fun. And then here's a couple more that are not coffee stained for me to play with. Thank you, Deb. What did I take out of here? I took something out of here. Was it the Prince Albert thing I know that I got? Yeah, I think so. I think it was this stuff. It was in here. I'll have to go back and rewatch the video. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't that crazy how you guys can just, um, how we all can just come across certain items and they just, man, they slingshot you back to the past and it's just crazy, a crazy feeling. Hmm. Certain smells, papers, you know when you touch something, you know, different feelings and just can just really has the ability to take you back. <sighs> Gosh. <laughs> you sent me so much stuff. Oh my God. I love it all. What do we got? Look at this little tiny ledger book. I have a feeling we are definitely going to go into a two-part video. You guys, my videos, even though my camera stays recording, after like 30 or 40 minutes, it will split the video when I upload it. It splits it into two, and I'm not quite sure. As you all know, I'm not very tech-savvy, so I don't know how to um, splice the two videos together. And I, I probably should know how to do that, but I don't. Check out that old bingo card. It's like heavy duty chipboard. That's neat. Court twist, I guess this was a, a game. I've never heard of that before. Those are cool. There's some paper that she's coffee dyed. My mind's eye. Oh my gosh, I have some of this. Deb, this is from like way back in the day. like 18 20 years ago oh my gosh how pretty 
Ooh, look at that. Some handmade paper. You guys can see all the fibers in there. Isn't that beautiful? Very cool. Wow. Oh, here's another piece. You can see flower petals in the paper. That one's got some little branches, kind of like pine needles almost. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Debbie. That is so, so sweet of you. Oh, look at this. Let's see what that it looks like an old report card in here from 1949. But first, we've got this really pretty heart doily. Kind of reminds me of a sugar skull. <laughs> Those are two eyes <laughs> and the mouth. Huh. Fun. Check out that old report card. Looks like he was a decent student. <laughs> Vintage um, Dewey Decimal card. Library card. Some instructions for canning. Some old notebook papers, another vintage um, bingo card, another embossed card here. That's pretty. Some are those gorgeous book pages that I'm in love with. I just love that text. It's so pretty. Yeah, that is old. Look how dark that is. The patina on that is beautiful. Hmm. Oh, some shorthand papers. I love this shorthand books. My sister um, used to do shorthand. Uh, she took it in, in school, in high school. I guess they offered the course in high school back when she was going. And, um, you know, she took it some in, in some continuing ed classes after she got out of high school as well. And uh, she, I used to always be so fascinated with the shorthand. I thought it was the coolest thing. How I wish now that we'd have saved all those books. <laughs> Some old sheet music. It's from 1899. The Lady's Birthday Almanac. This is from 1946. Very cool pieces. Wow. And Deb, I love these poly sleeves. Where did you get these? I'm going to have to message you. <laughs> I just like the weight. They're, these are nice. Hmm. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to stick all those on right back into this bag here so that stuff's not floating around everywhere. Let me just put these right off to the side here. 
And then we'll go into one of these bags here. I've got to start speeding it up. Oh, look how fun. Look at this yarn. This stuff is so big. <laughs> Huh, that is so cool. Some quilt pieces. Oh, look at that. The snowflakes showing up on there. So pretty. There's that one. Oh, look at all the colors on there. How pretty. You could use it to cut out some hearts or make some tabs. What other stuff could we use this stuff for, you guys? Make a pocket. Just use it to do a collage on a cover. Give me some ideas. <laughs> But how pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to make a journal just using the stuff you sent me. Well, some of my own things too, but mainly some of the stuff that you've sent here in this collection. This is so much fun. So many goodies. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much, Deb. I am so grateful. So, so grateful. I love everything. These quilt pieces are amazing. I'm going to have a good time with those and then she sent along another bag oh my gosh I'm already at 32 minutes yep this is definitely going to be a 32 part video what have we got in here some metal excuse me oh look at that she sent some keys and look at these little crystal pieces aren't those pretty oh wow so much fun <sighs> love that And she's got this vintage spool here. And it looks like, is there piano roll paper on there? What is that? Whatever it is, it looks really cool. Not sure what this is. Is it from like an old telegraph machine? That is really neat. Telegraph tape, maybe. Hmm. Probably should not have untied that. Let's see if I can just get it such a way that I can manage it later. And then she's got some lace. Look at that. That's pretty. It's got like all these little fibers in it. That is really neat. There's some trim. How pretty. That is so cute. This is gorgeous. Look at that. I 
And she sent some sari silk in different colors. So nice. Some of this stretchy lace. Those colors are pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Here's some more sari. These are pretty colors. Some more trim. I'm overwhelmed with everything you've sent me. This is so pretty. Everything is just, there's so much. Got this like gauze looking material. And that one's embroidered. I don't know if that's, no, nope, that's hand embroidered. I thought that might've been mach machine stitched, but it's hand done. some cheesecloth in a real pretty blue we've got some fabrics here these fabrics are gorgeous this is like a really pretty vintage mint color and we've got gray these are awesome i just love the text on these Wow, you must have a pretty amazing fabric collection. <laughs> so much variety. Look at that. It's got the trim on the end. And then we've got some chenille. This is so pretty. It's a big piece, too. Wow, 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 you spoiled us, Deb. I'm going to save these for the end because a bunch of goodies there I can see. I'm just going to move those right there. Got some pink trim there, fabric. Oh, look how pretty that is. Thank you so much for thinking of us, Deb. Oh my gosh, girl, my heart is full. <sighs> so many supplies here. Look at all of this. That's like that crinkle fabric. I love that stuff. Look at that. It's pretty. It's like a napkin. 